In this video, I'll guide you through a quad focused leg day. So first off, we're gonna do walk back squats using the cables. You're gonna wanna do four sets of this exercise and use a weight that's heavy, but not too heavy. I would aim for a weight in which you can accomplish the first six reps easily and struggle a little bit in the last two reps. Meaning we're gonna do eight reps for each of the four sets. So each rep will consist of four steps back and four steps forward, as I will demonstrate now. So one, two, three, four back, one, two, three, four, forward. That will be one rep. You're gonna complete eight of those. Aim to be as low as possible, really focusing on those quads, squeezing that abdomen, and breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Next up, you're gonna superset the cable walk backs with the cable pull through so that you can do some exercise with your hamstrings while allowing your quads to rest a little bit. You're going to do four sets of 10 reps using the same weight you used for the first exercise in this workout routine. In this angle, it seems that I'm hyper extending, but I maintain a straight alignment with my back the entire time. I never hyper extend my hips to a point where I can get hurt, which is very, very important. You're gonna to wanna to focus on your hamstrings here, focus on your glutes. Since today we're focusing on our quads, this is really the only exercise that will incorporate hamstrings by themselves. And you will be supersetting with the first exercise, so it'll really tire you out. Next up, some more quad isolation. We're gonna use the leg extension machine. And for this uh, particular exercise in this workout, we're gonna do a reverse pyramid. Meaning you're gonna start your first set with the higher rep range and lower weights and finish off on the fourth set with the lower rep range and the higher weight. For this exercise, for my first set, I did 15 reps using 45 pounds, which was still within my light range of weight only because i really want to use this to isolate and tire out my quads and then i proceed by decreasing my reps to 12 reps and then to 10 reps and then to 8 reps for that last set as for the weight increase by five pounds each set now for a quick leg burnout we're going to do a reverse lunge sumo squat combo for a total of three sets the first set is one minute and the last two sets will be 30 seconds. After you do this burnout, go ahead and redo the quad machine leg extension workout to really, really burn those quads. During this exercise, make sure you maintain that back alignment so that you don't exert force on your lower back. That's really, really important on a leg day because a lot of the times we'll lose that straight alignment, will do horrible forms just to be able to finish the workout. Never, never do that. If you have to take a break in the middle of your set, go ahead and do that rather than losing your form. Here, your glutes are gonna feel it a little bit as well with those reverse lunges as opposed to front lunges, which do target the quads a little bit more, but I am a booty fan, so I always incorporate some uh, glutes as well. So with that being said, once you finish this burnout, go ahead and redo the quad leg extension to really, really burn those quads. Please comment below what you want to see next. 